In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Hello, dear viewers of Marjayat TV. You are with us with another episode of the program, Marjayat Horizon. Stay tuned, watching news, reports, and meetings, all regarding the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussaini Shirazi. On the heart-rending martyrdom anniversary of Imam Javad, peace be upon him, Shias and lovers of Ahlul Bayt mourned this day and commemorated the memory of this holy leader. The central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom also held ceremonies and marked this day. These ceremonies, which hosted a wide variety of people, including scholars and well-known figures, were held at the presence of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. Now I attract your attention to a brief report of these ceremonies.
Shia Rights Watch, a human rights organization dependent to the grand jurist Ayatollah Shirazi, has released separate messages in which it addressed the Saudi government and expresses strong concerns for the violations of human and legal rights of Shia Muslims in this country. In these messages, SRW referred to the disrespectful behavior of Saudi authorities with a Shia Muslim jurist, Grand Ayatollah Mamagani, and the fabrication of severe sentences against a Shia citizen and accusing him of participating in the 1996 bombing in this country. Let's watch this report. Shia Rights Watch, a human rights organization defending the rights of Shia Muslims worldwide, has released two messages and condemned the Saudi government for its disrespectful behavior towards a Shia scholar and the unfair and harsh sentence against a Shia activist for his alleged and unproven participation in the 1996 terrorist bombing in this country. Shia scholars and pilgrims who attended the Hajj pilgrimage have always been troubled with hateful and disrespectful behavior of the Saudi authorities who successively undermine the dignity of the visitors of the House of God. These hateful behaviors and their perpetrators, which have not received appropriate attentions and sufficient accountability, have caused the stream of disparagement towards Shia pilgrims to rise steadily, even in confrontation with famous and respected Shia religious scholars. During the Hajj pilgrimage this year, Saudi authorities disrespected a Shia scholar, Ayatollah Mamagani, who was at the country's airport for performing pilgrimage to the House of God. In a message released by Shia Rights Watch, this human rights organization condemned the stream of disrespectful behaviors by the Saudi authorities and demanded a stop to these actions. The disrespectful and hateful treatments towards Shia civilians and scholars have been an old practice of the Saudi government. In his second message to the Saudi government, Shia Rais Wash denounced the fabrication of unfair sentences against Shia individuals and activists. This time, the Saudi court has held Mr. Ahmed al Mugaisil, a young Shia citizen, accountable for a deadly bombing of 1996 in this country. The 1996 attack was a terrorist attack on a part of a housing complex in the city of Kubar, Saudi Arabia, located near the National Oil Company headquarters of Dharan. This is while well that the Al-Qaeda terrorist group took responsibility for the attack, and it seems that the Saudi court intentionally overlooks the documents proving Mr. Ahmed and Mugaisil innocent. The central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom has always been home to different groups of Shia Muslims from different parts of the world. In recent days, some Shias and lovers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, from Azerbaijan, attended at his office and gave ear to the statements and guidelines of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. Now I invite you to watch a brief report of this meeting. فقط یک سفارش به همه شما می کنم که این سفارش سبب سعادت دنیا و آخرت همه شما آقا بیرو سیزدره به توفسیه هم بار چه بو توفسیه سیزدره دنیا و آخرت سعادتنا سبب اوسون و این سفارش سفارش پیغمبر اسلام صل الله علیه وسلم صل الله علیه وسلم آقا بولو که بو سفارش حضرت پیغمبر سفارشی چی سیزا سخته دارم فرمودن پیغمبر اسلام عصبانی نشد آقا بولو پیغمبر بولو که پیغمبر دیار که عصبانی اولمیون عصبه اولمیون این کلید سعادت فرد فرد شما بولو بو عصبانی اولمامخ سیزدارن سعادتنین کلیدی دی هر تک و تکمیزین از همین جا همین الان هر کدومی از شما تصمیم بگیرید به این سفارش پیغمبر اسلام عمل کنید دیر نه جزنده چه ایلا بو دقیقه بو آندا تصمیم تتاسیز ازویز ازویزده قرار ورسیز که پیغمبرین بو سفارشنه عمل ایلی ازم با خانومتون زوجتون عصبانی نشه تصمیم را همین الان بگیرید خدا 
هر کدوم از شما در این سفر عبادت که زیارت اهل بیت علیه السلام آمدید تصمیم بگیرید به این سفارش و پیغمبر اسلام عمل کنید آقا بروس است که بو سفر در جلمس از عبادت و اطاعت سفر اندست است اوزونوز هر بیرنیز اوزونوز اوزونوز در قرار برین تصمیم توتون چو پیغمبرین بو سفارشنی من بو جننن عمل ایلیزم کدام از شما از بقیه کدام یک از شما از بقیه خوش اخلاق تر است در دنیا همون روز قیامت به بهش نزدیک تر است بیرون آقا استر سیزلردن بیری اولا و استر دیگرلردن بیری اولا هر کس بو دنیا دا خوش اخلاق اولسا یعنی اخلاقلی بیر انسان اولسا قیامت جنو ان یخن اولدوگو یل زننت اولا زاختیر و هر کدومی از شما همینجا که نشستید تصمیم بگیرید در آینده خوش اخلاق تر باشی و بایرو چه سفارش میده بودو چه اله اندیدن özünüz özünüzə qərar verin ki bundan sonra əxlaqla həyatımı sürəcəm, yaşayacam təsmin bigirit dər xanivadə xoş əxlaq tərəz həmə şümə başı Recently, Mr. Aqil Şəvan, the commander of Ansar al-Hujjab Brigade attended at the office of Marjayat channel in the holy city of Karbala and briefed the director of this channel on the latest developments and the progresses in the fight against Daesh. In this meeting, Sheikh Nematullahi, the director of Marjaya TV channel, also appreciated the efforts and the bravery of the soldiers defending their country and the sanctities and hinted that the Iraqi nation would never forget the big sacrifice by these people. Ansar al-Hujjab Brigade is now leading operations in the fronts against the terrorists. During the visit of members of Al-Hujjah Brigade to the office of Marjayir Global Network in the holy city of Karbala on Monday, September 7, 2015, Sheikh Murtada Nematullahi, the director of Marjayir Global Network, met with Akil Shaban, the commander of Al-Hujjah Brigade, one of the voluntary forces in Iraq. At the beginning, Mr. Akil Shaban presented a brief summary on the activities of the brigade in the fronts against the terrorist groups. In his turn, Sheikh Namatullahi expressed his gratitude for the sacrifices that the troops make to preserve their religion and beliefs. He added, Today you have recorded your names and cemented your legacy throughout history, and your names will be immortalized, and the next generations will honor your memory, and will never forget your sacrifices because, firstly, you have answered to the call of the Shia Islamic leadership in preserving their religion, that is a holy duty. And secondly, you made heroic sacrifices and left your families and friends to provide safety for others. Thirdly, you have made sacrifices in the times that the internal and external enemies united together to strike the oppressed people of Iraq, which is a danger that the people of Iraq have never faced before. Therefore, your defense is that of great significance and will never be forgotten. In the end, the director of Majaya Global Network referred to the stand of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, may God prolong his life regarding the holy duty of defending the country against the infidel terrorists and stated, when the grand jurist was asked of his opinion concerning the duty of defending Iraq, he stated, defending the country does not require a verdict, for it is a religious duty for every believer to defend their country, its holy sites and its people, and that this phase in which Iraq goes through will be soon over, and we must prepare ourselves to rebuild Iraq and restore its culture. God willing, this country will set an example for the whole world and will pioneer in spreading the true teachings and the culture of the Alul Bayt, peace be upon them, because Iraq is the country which belongs to the Alul Bayt. And last but not least, Sheikh Nehmetullahi thanked the commander Akil Shaban and the troops for visiting the office of Marjaya TV and wished them victory over the enemies. With the Hajj days coming close, the representative office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi started its activities in the holy city of Medina. The Grand Ayatollah Shirazi's son, Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, also took part in the Hajj pilgrimage and hosts the religious and social figures at this office. This office holds several religious and cultural programs and helps the pilgrims with their religious questions and demands. Hajj is an annual Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca and a mandatory religious duty for Muslims that must be carried out at least once in the lifetime by all adult Muslims 
who can ploy with serious of specific conditions and situations. This gathering of all Muslims in one single area, performing pilgrimage to the house of God and the Hajj rituals provide a unique opportunity for the purification of soul, proximity to Lord, and feeding the soul during lifetime. Hajj as an invaluable opportunity where all Muslims can promote their spiritual and belief status has been always under a strong emphasis by the Holy Prophet of Islam and his pure progeny peace be upon them all. In this yearly ritual, Muslims from all ethnicities, languages and social status come together in holy Mecca and offer their earnest servitude to the Lord. At our time, Hajj pilgrimage should exhibit the truth about Islam and present the entire world with an insight which conveys the real Islamic concepts. This important issue can't happen unless the scholars prepare the grounds for various cultural and religious programs which help the Muslims and the rest of the world to appreciate the genuine Islam. To implement this great cause, that is displaying the true Islam to the whole world, and providing the pilgrims with a deeper understanding of their great position as visitors of the house of God. The religious authorities and Shia Islamic jurists set up offices in the holy cities of Medina and Mecca and provide services to the pilgrims. An old and one of the very first offices set up by Shia Islamic leadership in holy Mecca and Medina is that of the Shirazi scholars who were aware of the unique opportunity of Hajj. In this year, the office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi sends out scholars and members of its central office to the holy cities of Mecca and Medina to help the pilgrims and the Muslims with their questions about beliefs, Islamic laws regarding Hajj, and other religious issues. Following an old custom, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi's son, Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, also attends this office and meets with various religious figures, representatives of the Grand Religious Authorities, other important figures and the big groups of pilgrims. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful. All praise is due to Allah and the Lord's blessing be upon Muhammad and the progeny of Muhammad. I am currently in the holy city of Medina in Saudi Arabia. This is the blessed city which holds the pure body of Prophet Muhammad and the Prophet's family, peace be upon them all. We are very close to the Al-Baqi Cemetery. This is the cemetery which holds the graves and the pure bodies of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. We are close to the Lady Fatima's grave, but nobody knows where exactly she is buried in. Peace and blessings be upon the Prophet's daughter. I am speaking to you from the grave of Hamza the master of martyrs. I'm speaking to you from this blissful place. I'm praying for all of you. I'm also praying that may Allah hasten the advent of our leader, Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him. I'm speaking to you from the Grand Jurist Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi Hajj Mission Group in Medina. The Grand Jurist Hajj Mission Group was established more than 45 years ago by the late jurist Sayyid Hassan Shirazi, the Grand Jurist brother. This Hajj mission was the first Shia Hajj mission group to be recognized officially by the government. The Grand Jurist son, Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, accompanies this year's Hajj mission. The Hajj mission group of the Grand Jurist is run by several delegates who represent the Grand Jurist, and they all come from different parts of the world. At the Hajj season, people from all parts of the world come together to pay respect to the Holy Shrine of Prophet of Islam and the family of Prophet in the Al-Baqi Cemetery. The family of Prophet in the Al-Baqi Cemetery include the grandsons and sons of the Prophet, such as Imam Hassan, Imam Sajjad, Imam Bakir, Imam Sadiq, and other members of the Prophet's family. Some people before heading toward Mecca to do the Hajj rituals, they start off their spiritual journey by visiting the Holy Prophet's shrine in Medina. Then they head off toward Mecca in completing their spiritual journey. The followers of the Grand Jurist do come and visit the Grand Jurist Hajj Mission Group. This group holds occasionally many educational and informative assemblies. During these assemblies and meetings, the followers of the Grand Jurist ask their questions regarding different issues. Delegates from the Grand Jurist Hajj Mission pay visits to other Islamic authorities' representatives. Then these delegates do visit other Hajj Missions such as United States of America, Canada, and Europe. These visits are either conducted by the delegates that represent the Grand Jurist or the Grand Jurist son, Ayatollah Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, 
In these visits, lectures and instructions are given to the pilgrims so that the spiritual journey is conducted in the best possible way. Also at the same time, many other Hajj groups do come visit the Grand Jurist Hajj Mission Center. We from this point and place pray to Allah Almighty to help all Shias around the world to repel any evil against them. And our foremost prayer is the forthcoming of our Imam, Imam Mahdi peace be upon him. Dear viewers, our prayers include you too. May Allah bless you and protect you. Among some clerics and seminary students from the cities of Basra and Baghdad, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi highlighted the role of religious scholars in guiding the societies and called the culture of Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon him, as having great potentials that need to be actualized. The Grand Jurist also demanded the religious scholars and the clerics to expand their efforts in guiding the youth to the path of Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon him. تربون تربية أهل البيت يغيروا للتاريخ مو العراق مو المنطقة مو العالم اليوم من لا تغير فيها الكل كلكم راح نصد أما أهل العلم مسؤوليتهم أكثر العلماء مسؤوليتهم أكثر الإمام الصادق عليه السلام في حديث صحيح بلا إشكال صحيح الصدق قال لأحد ثقات أصحابه الحارث ابن المغيرة ثقات أصحابه إلما مصادر يقول هو يقول, يقول لقيني أبو عبد الله عليه السلام يعني أنا رايح إلما مصادر بالطريق شاوف لقيني أبو عبد الله فقال لي بدون كلام سابق بدون سؤال هو هذا من علماء أصحاب الأهل حارف من خير من الثقال يقيني أبو عبد الله عليه السلام فقال لي لنحملن عبد الله بن عبد القسم من مؤمن التأكيد أو لنحملن شباب العراق اللي يفسد منهم في العقيدة في الأخلاق ومو أنت شاب فسد لا تدرى وزرة من الأخرى أنت شريعة مالك أما الإمام الصادق يقول له لنحملنا ولنحملنا ذنوب سفهائكم على علمائكم نعم إمام الصادق عليه السلام ما يدري لا لا تدرى وزرة من الأخرى الألماء إلا قدرة كل المحسب حجمه ومقداره خلق أجواء صالحة الشباب يتربون في الأجواء الصالحة واحد شيء ثاني هو يكون عمل عمل جيد حتى يتعلم يكون دعاة الناس بغيره ونحن نهتم على بغداد تقدر تنير العالم في بغداد بس شو يصرفوا وقت عليهم تحملوا the Study and Research Center of Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Karbala has held a conference with the title of Freedom and Nonviolence in Late Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi View as a part of its monthly discussions. In this conference, which hosted different figures, university teachers, political, social and human rights activists, the experts exchanged opinion on the discussion topic. The Imam Shirazi Center for Studies has held a new session of its occasional meetings. The topic of discussion was the Imam Shirazi point of view of freedom of expression through the nonviolence acts. The academic researcher and study center has highly lauded this idea, which can contribute greatly to the Iraq's and the world's progress. Al in the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful. Imam Shirazi Center for Studies has held a meeting with the topic of Imam Shirazi's point of view on freedom of expression through the Nonviolence Acts. This issue was discussed at a critical time where the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, 
has witnessed a surge in protests demanding serious reforms in the Iraqi government. These demands include reforms in economic sector, judiciary system, and fighting corruption at all levels. Using freedom of expression through nonviolence approaches at social and political levels is an important step towards having a united and consistent society. The life of the Grand Jurors Ayatollah Said Muhammad al-Shirazi is full of blessings for us. The researches and studies conducted about this topic are an important and interesting one. The topic is directly related to millions of people around the world, especially the people of Iraq. I choose this topic myself because it's very important to have expressions of ideas and opinions through nonviolent ways. One of the ways to solve the Iraq's problem is to use the nonviolence approach in expressing our ideas and opinions. Many different opinions and questions were exchanged during this meeting, all with the aim of clarifying this issue of expressing our opinions through nonviolence approaches. Understanding this point will get the society to a desirable state of understanding. <laughs>
The ISWF also demanded the international community to take swift measures in order to save the innocent civilians suffering under siege. In a message released by Imam Shirazi Wall Foundation, this Islamic Center warned of these severe and critical situations in Kafaria and Al Fua, two Shiite cities in northern Syria. This message, which addresses the international community, called the blockade in these two cities and the shortages of water, food, and medical facilities as inhumane and disastrous, and demanded all international organizations to end their silence over this human crisis. Imam Shuazi World Foundation demanded the governments of the regional countries to use their influence and perform their legal responsibility in this critical moment. Here comes this message. In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. And from among you there should be a party who invite to good and enjoin what is right, and forbid the wrong, and they are the ones to be successful. Verse 104, Chapter 3 The anxiety and grief of Imam Shuazi Wall Foundation made it to signs the hurt and devastation that pursues the towns of Kafaria and al Fa'a in northern Syria and spread the call of these innocent people to all international bodies and political and human rights organizations, hoping to rescue the residents of these two cities from the clutches of the terrorists attacking them for months. Thus, Imam Shuazi Wall Foundation warns the international community of the ongoing genocide in these two cities, as their civilians are under a heavy blockade and have no hopes of this blockade to be breached or the danger surrounding them to be driven back. It is now for months that the tech ferries terrorists have put a blockade on these cities, cutting their access to life necessities like water, food and medicine. This has led to the death of dozens of people, mostly elderly and children who suffer shortages of these items. The constant fall of rockets and shells as well as sniper operations have also claimed many lives in these cities. In this regard, the ISWF puts the responsibility of this genocide on the shoulders of international community in general and the Security Council in particular for their silence over this humanitarian crisis. At the same time, Imam Shuazi Walt Foundation condemns the deliberate inaction by international bodies for not carrying out their humanitarian obligations and demands the immediate rescue of these cities before a disastrous genocide takes place, especially after the escalating dangers of terrorists. The ISWF also asked the Islamic Action Organization to notice the need for coordination with some regional countries, which have influential roles in combat inside Syria, and help stop the threats surrounding these two cities, and save the families of this courage of war and killings in this area. Imam Shirazi Wall Foundation Washington, D.C. The Cultural and Charitable Institute of Omaha behind the Holy City of Karbala hosted some officials and directors of religious and cultural offices. In these meetings, this office also welcomed Mr. Aghil Shaban, the commander of Ansar al hujja Brigade. In addition, Mr. Aghil Shaban offered a detailed report of the programs and activities by this brigade. For more on this event, I invite you to watch this report. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. Following the orders and the discretions of the Grand Jurist, Ayatollah Said Sadr Shirazi, and with the helps and the efforts of the Grand Jurist representative in the city of Basra, Sheikh Nazar al Hassan, and with the help of Sheikh Ali Mujahid, the Director of Islamic Cultural Institute in Karbala, and Mr. Raid al Wazni, the manager of Umar Biha Charitable Institute, and along with the presence of Sheikh Mustafa Maash, this meeting was conducted and it hosted the commander of Ansar al Hujja Brigade, Mr. Aghil Shaban. Sheikh Nazar al Hassan delivered an important lecture in which he explained the importance of defense against terrorism. He also sent the wishes and the prayers of the Grand Jury Ayatollah Shirazi to the troops on the ground. Afterwards, Mr. Aghil Shaban gave a detailed report on the activity of his brigade, the Ansar al Hujja Brigade. 
Then a few suggestions were made by Mr. Abu Shams in improving the fighting tactics against terrorism. At the end, some medals of honor were given to the attendees and series of supplies were also provided to the brigade. In the end, prayers were made for the victory of all Iraqi volunteer forces, including the Ansar al hujja Brigade, which is fighting terrorism in different parts of the country. And now we're going to watch the most important news all around the world regarding Ayatollah Shirazi in the next part of our program, News in Brief. Adam Global Center slams Saudi preparations for Hajj. Adam Global Center, one of the centers dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi, has condemned the unspeakable behavior of the Saudi law enforcement with the Yemeni Hajj pilgrims and slams the poor preparation of the Saudi government, which led to the unfortunate mishap in the Forbidding Mosque, also known as Masjid al-Haram, and the death and injury of hundreds of Hajj pilgrims. In its statement, Adam Global Center addressed the Hajj days as the days of forgiveness and concerned the management of the Saudi government as sectarianized and against the goals of Hajj pilgrimage. Jurisdiction Queries Book Published Jurisdiction Queries Book, based on the verdicts of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi's opinion, was published in the holy city of Karbala. It is noteworthy that the book is now available for the enthusiasts in Arabic language. Ayatollah Shirazi Public Relation Office hosts different people. A number of religious and social figures, along with a group of religious students, attended at the Public Relation Office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qadmiya and met with the members of this office. In these meetings, religious, missionary, and social topics were discussed, and both sides exchanged opinions. Sayyid Atta Husseini visited centers dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi. Sayyid Atta Husseini, a representative of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, visited centers dependent to the Grand Jurors in the holy city of Najaf and the province of Diwaniya, and met with their directors. During these meetings, the most current religious, cultural, and social issues in the Iraqi Shia community were discussed, and solutions were presented. Islamic Cultural Center in Holy Karbala hosts directors of Ayatollah Shirazi dependent offices. Islamic Cultural Center in Holy Karbala hosts directors of Ayatollah Shirazi dependent centers. The Islamic Cultural Center in Holy Karbala hosted a number of directors of offices dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi. During this meeting, the attendees discussed a variety of religious and cultural topics and highlighted the importance of expanding these activities and the teachings of the Alul Bayt, peace be upon them, especially to the youth. Sheikh Nizar Hassan, the director of Ayatollah Shirazi office in Basra, Mr. Raid Wazni, the director of Omabia Cultural Institute, Sheikh Ali Mujahid, and Haj Basi Mujahid were among the attendees. Discussing the innovative methods of spreading the teachings of Alul Bayt, the Office of Shirazi Followers in Baghdad has held a conference in which the attendees discussed and presented innovative methods to spread the teachings of the Alul Bayt, especially the rituals of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, at the presence of the office directors and different religious figures. It is noteworthy that following their citation of some Quranic verses, Mr. Ali Sarai delivered a lecture in this meeting. <laughs> Following the daily meetings of the Grand Jury Sayyid Allah Shirazi in recent days, a number of scholars, religious, cultural, and social figures, along with different groups of youngsters and the public from all around the world, gathered at Ayatollah Shirazi's central office and gave ear to the words, guidelines, and advices from the grand jurist.
Thank you for staying with us. For more information on our daily news about Marjayat, you can visit marjayattv.com and its official web pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. May Allah preserve you. Bye for now. Thank you.